Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another question from September 2020 M3 exam. So before going to the solutions, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. The question is solve this differential equation given the initial conditions. Okay. So we have done this type of question in uh, M1 and M2 a lot of times. You used uh, YC, YP and uh, under, uh, inverse D operator, undetermined coefficients and such techniques to solve the differential equation. Solving differential equation means finding Y of T. This is a very important concept of uh, concept in engineering, okay, solving differential equations. So in those methods that in M2, you, you need uh, integration to solve this kind of questions. So in M3, you have learned transforms, right? You have learned tra Laplace transforms. So we need to use Laplace transform to find the uh, solution to this differential equation. In the fifth module on the same M3, you use numerical methods to find the same solution to the same question. Okay, so dif solving differential equation is a big deal. And in this particular video, we are going to solve differential equation using Laplace transform. Okay, so how do we solve uh, this uh, this differential equation using Laplace transform? First, let's take Laplace transform of the given uh, equation. So Laplace transform of y double dash of t, y double dash of t, plus plus three times Laplace transform of y dash of t. Then plus two times Laplace transform of y of t. Okay, so if you take Laplace transform of this equation, you will get this is equal to Laplace transform zero is zero. So what we know Laplace transform of y of t is y of s. Okay, so a time domain function y of t taken Laplace transform will become y of s. What is Laplace transform of y dash of t? Okay, so this is s into y of s, okay, minus y of 0. Okay, so what is this? We know y of 0 is 1. So this will become s, y of s minus 1. Laplace transform of y dash of t is s, y of s minus 1 in this case. In general, it is minus y of 0. Similarly, Laplace transform of y dash of y double dash of t is s square y of s whatever the differential equation power, this is the power of differential equation, d square y by d, dt square, okay. So if it's a second uh, order differential equation, second order term, so you, you take s square here. This is the first order term, this is, okay, you take s power one, okay. So s square y of s minus s into y of zero minus y dash of zero or whatever that is given here. So this is equal to what will happen? So uh, s square y of s minus s into y of 0, y of 0 is 1, so it is 1, yes, s yes into 1 is s, minus y dash of 0, y dash of 0 is 0, so this term of course cancel. So basically, this function, uh, Laplace transform of the differential equation will become, Laplace transform of y dash, y double dash of t is, uh, I write it here only, s square y of s minus s, so this is the first term, right, plus 3, Laplace transform of y dash of t is yes y of s minus 1, yes uh, y of s uh, minus 1 in the bracket, plus 2, Laplace transform of y of t is y of s, this is equal to what? 0. So in this, uh, now, uh, I'll, I'll open the brackets, what will I get? S square y of s minus 3, sorry, minus s, so this is minus s, plus 3 into s y of s is plus 3 into s y of s, My, plus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 plus 2 y of s is equal to 0. So if I factor out y of s from this, this and this, what will I get? If I factor out y of s, I will get here s square, here plus 3s, here plus 2. The remaining terms are minus s and minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so uh, if you send them this side, what will you get? Y of s is equal to minus s will become plus s, minus 3 will become plus 3. So s plus 3. This is uh, multiplied to this y of s. So if, you, if it comes to the RHS, it will be in the denominator. So it is s square plus 3s plus 2. So from differential equation, taking Laplace transform using these, uh, these here entities, that was y dash of t, that was double, y double dash of t, we will get y of s is equal to s plus 3 over s square plus 3s plus 2. 
So if you take Laplace inverse of this, this equation, you will get y of t, which is the solution of this differential equation. So how do you take Laplace inverse of this uh, function? Uh, first, we need to, uh, I'll, I'll write one more step here. So y of s is equal to s plus 3 by s plus 1 into s plus 2. In the denominator, if you factorize this quadratic equation, you will get s plus 1 into s plus 2. So I know Laplace transform, uh, one, one Laplace transform, that is if you have e power a t, and if you take Laplace transform, you will get 1 over s minus a. So if you take Laplace inverse transform of 1 over s minus a, you will get e power a t. So I need to convert this equation, this RHS of the uh, y of s, into terms of 1 over s minus a. How do we do that? We'll use uh, partial fractions. So use partial fractions. So what are the for these partial fractions? So s plus 3 over s plus 3 over s plus 1 into s plus 2 will become a over s plus 1, right, plus b over s plus 2. Okay. So I can take Laplace in inverse Laplace of this. Okay. Because I know the formula is e power at Laplace transform is 1 over s minus a. So 1 over s minus a inverse Laplace transform is e power at. And these are like 1 over s minus a. So if I need to, I need to find out a and b values so that I can write y of s in terms of this. So let's find a of a and b. Let me make some space here. So finding a and b, how do you do that? Send this, this side. So what I will get here is s plus 3 is equal to a into, if you send s plus 1 into s plus 2 this side, s plus 1 and s plus 1 get cancelled, you will get s plus 2 here plus b into s plus 2 and s plus 2 get cancelled, so we get s plus 1 here. Okay. So in this, uh, if I substitute term, uh, s is equal to minus 2. Okay, so let's say if I substitute s equal to minus 2, what we will get? Minus 2 plus 3 is 1 a into minus 2 plus 2 is 0 plus b into minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So 1 is equal to minus b or b is equal to minus 1 is my first constant. Similarly, if I substitute s is equal to minus 1, what I will get? Minus 1 plus 3 is 2 a into minus 1 plus 2 is 1 plus b into minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So this will 2 is equal to a is a is equal to 2. Right. So now I found out a and b. So I can write, uh, so this is basically y of s. Okay, I can write y of s as 2 over s plus 1 or 2 into 1 over s plus 1 minus 1 over s plus 2 or minus 1 over 1 into s plus 2, 1 over s plus 2. So y of s which was like this, s plus 3 over a quadratic function become like this and using partial fraction it becomes like this. And now if I take Laplace inverse transform, inverse Laplace transform like this, inverse Laplace transform of y of s is y of t is equal to 2, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1. 1 over s minus a, if you have minus a here, it is e power plus a t. If you have plus 1 here, it is e power minus 1 t. Minus 1 over s plus 2 is e power minus 2 t. If you have plus a, minus a here. If you have plus 2 here, minus 2 here. Okay. So this is the solution to this differential equation using Laplace and inverse Laplace transform method. If you want to learn more about Laplace transform, and Fourier series and Fourier transform is that transforms. You can go to our web page and check our course uh, on 18 Math 31 that we have made for your uh, video students. And the course is amazing and it is all the things you need to know before writing your video exam. The link to the course is in the description.